Anderson, our grain marketing specialist, joins us now. Kim, those latest supply and demand numbers are out. Give us a brief summary. Well, looking at the ending stocks, uh, starting with wheat uh, in the United States uh, for the year that just ended in May, uh, 718 million bushels. Looking at for 2013-14 ending stocks to be 576 million bushels. I think that's positive for wheat prices. If you look at the world, a uh, little over 6 billion, 6.41 billion bushels uh, for last year, 6.33 billion, slightly less for next year. Corn ending stocks for the for this year, 729 million bushels, expected to go to 1,960,000,000 next year. Slightly uh, higher than the trade expected there in the world. Uh, 4.87 billion bushels uh, last year are for the year ending and 5.9 billion bushels for, for this year. With all that in mind, then how did the market react to this news? Well, there was essentially no reaction to the news. Uh, the analyst came out and said, right after the report and said it's bullish for our bear, bullish for wheat. Wheat prices expected to go up. Bearish for uh, corn and soybeans. The market didn't react at all. Corn was up a couple pennies. Soybeans were up a couple pennies. Wheat was up a couple pennies. It's just like the the market blew off the July Wall Street report. And what else then is going on in the market this week? Well, the, I think the trade talk is concentrating on China. They've got some production problems over there with wheat and, and corn. Uh, they, they bought, uh, according to the trade, uh, maybe up to 54 uh, million bushels of corn. Uh, the USDA is predicting their, their uh, wheat imports are going to be significantly higher this uh, next year. The value of the dollars declined over the last week. The market's kind of happy about that, makes our prices a little cheaper on the world. Uh, lower uh, soft red winter wheat production and and probably lower corn production in the Western Corn Belt. Now you also keep a close eye on the KCBT wheat prices. What's the latest there? What are you watching? Well, I'm watching the levels. If you're, if the producer is uh, looking at selling in the nearby, uh, watch the September contract. It's a, the important point is seven dollars and ten cents. If next Tuesday is below seven ten, then we may take that back down to six eighty five. If it's above seven ten, then our next next uh, target price may be 744. They're looking at storing it December 728 is the important price. If it's below that next Tuesday, close 706 target. If it's above that, uh, 740 for the target. And finally, last week you uh, advised producers to sell half now, the rest broken up in, in the fall and winter. Is that still your mindset this week? It's still my mindset. I'm not as set as uh, as I'm more optimistic for prices in the fall than I was last year, and I'm basically that because of lower wheat stocks projected. I'm now a little more optimistic for uh, fall. I may look at a third, a third, and a third now. Okay. Kim Anderson, we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot.